My name is William Perkinson, and I'm here to talk to you about tips on moving refrigerators. There's two reasons why you might want to remove your refrigerator. One would be to clean behind it, and the other would be to replace it. If you're just cleaning behind it, this is a, a simple process. Most new type of refrigerators, like this one, have four wheels on them. You simply would grab firmly, but don't yank, and pull slowly forward. You see it rolls out from the wall. If it's an older model refrigerator, you're going to have to uh, find something that helps it slide on the floor because you don't want to tear your linoleum or scratch the wood. So I recommend uh, a piece of carpet where you put the pile side down and put the back legs on the, on the back of it and it'll slide pretty easy. If you've got a tile floor, you could try uh, plastic caps from a coffee can or something like that. Now, when you're moving the refrigerator, you want to, if, if, if it's just to clean behind it, you don't have to worry about the contents uh, in the refrigerator because you can put it right back. But you might want to check on top. Uh, a lot of people have had trays slide off that they didn't know were up there. So that'll, that'll be a surprise if you're not careful about it. Now, if you are moving it across town, you want to make sure that the uh, drawers are empty inside, that the shelves are empty. If they're glass shelves, you might want to remove them and pack them in something uh, secure and safe so that they don't come loose, jar, break. Uh, in transit. All right, we've secured the shelves inside. Now we want to talk about the doors. You don't want the doors to flop open while you're moving across town. It could damage the door, it could damage the, the shelves inside, it could fall out once you've got them secured where they don't rattle around. There's two ways to, uh, to keep the doors from flopping open. One would be with a good sturdy rope to take it all the way around the refrigerator and then secure the handles. Or the other, and a little more simpler to get it on and off, would be with a, with a dirty bungee. Uh, much easier, doesn't damage the refrigerator. Some people like to use tape. Tape can peel off your finish, and that can open a whole different can of worms. Uh, you will use, or need to use, a good sturdy refrigerator dolly, uh, getting it up and down the stairs. These are, these are dollies that uh, have more than just the two legs on the bottom. They have a strap that goes around them as well, and you'll have much better results using those than just trying to get your neighbor to grab the front end. I'm William Perkinson and those are tips on moving refrigerators.